Welcome to Off the Press, the program where, as always, we tell you what's in the papers. We try to uh, dissect the headlines and make sense of it uh, for your sakes. And of course, we also ask you to get copies for yourself for full details. And with me to do so this morning is a political analyst, uh, Ike Ugochuku Ikako. Good morning. Good to have you here. Good to have you. You're all here. smiles. It's good to have you this morning. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. It's been a good day. It's okay. a good day so far. Uh, it's Friday, by it's the Friday, way. So, so. It's Friday, so. <laughs> all right. Good. So we have a couple of papers here. One, two, three. Anyways. But we shall begin with uh, the Vanguard newspaper. It would be displayed. And it says, we'll just go straight into the business. We hit the ground running on Fridays. So federal government suspends fuel supply to stations at land borders. Uh, stop terrorizing innocent citizens. Masari wants customs. And that's on page nine of the Vanguard newspaper. And the state of roads uh, reps challenges Fashola to 90-day road travel tour. Yes, because he said the roads are not as bad. And that's on page 14 of the Vanguard newspaper. PNID, back again, supply a scam. Courts grants Britain Nolan 500 uh, Naira million bill. And that's on page 8. Ovularia of New Masquerade Speaks. Yeah, there were stories of uh, her being dead. And that's on page 24 of the Vanguard newspaper. Augusto and Co. ranks Zenith Best Digital Bank in 2019. Mm, that's good news for Jimovia and others. On page 9. And a big story, mixed reactions trail sack of Oshiba just 35 aids. That big story is on page 5. Rifts between Buhari and Oshiba Joy imaginary hatched by mischief makers, according to Khan. Handle this issue with care, Junaid, Junaid uh, Mohammed says. Buhari may not be aware. Pandev and Vibes, uh, VP's aid, aid denies lists. Okay, and that's on page 5 also. And the list of sacked aides is there displayed on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper, and this continued also on page 41. Um, okay, so we also have um, VP security men beat up Vanguard photojournalist at Asovela. Um, that's on page 10. He's a Biome Adishida. That's on page uh, 10. Now, today, uh, Eid Molid, federal uh, government declares Monday public holiday for Eid Molid. And that's the birthday of Prophet Muhammad, I believe. And that's on page 39. Maritime workers threaten nationwide strike over a papa gridlock. On page 10, and the federal government pays 157.35 billion uh, naira pay as UN tax areas to states on page 8. Uh, already displayed there. Thank you. And then Kolade, Emi Asanusi disagree over gender equity on page 10 of the Vanguard newspaper. It's already displayed there on your, uh, your screen. So, Ugochuku, which one is catching your attention? There seem to be so many... Uh, no, there seem to be a lot of uh, distraction and a lot of uh, on serious things that doesn't have anything to do with policy. Really? Yeah. Okay, so which one do you want to start with? Well, the serious ones, I believe. But I think the most interesting story for Nigerians at the moment has to be what's happening in Abuja. You know, currently in Asoro, yeah, the, the rift between the uh, presidency and but the presidency. But they said it's imaginary. Well, wow. if it is imaginary, there's something people won't have lost their job. 35 of, 35 of them. So if it's imaginary, they wouldn't have lost their job. If it, if it, if, if it, if it is imaginary, the president would have transmitted a letter to the National Assembly fully section 145 and 146 of the 1999 Constitution before leaving the country. He didn't do that. If it is imaginary, Abba Kiari shouldn't have gone to London to sign, uh, to the give bill. the president the bill uh, to sign. It would have been this no legislative aid. Uh, in the national that work with the national assembly and the president closely. So uh, anybody that's tr trying to deny a rift at the moment is just trying to uh, live in a fantasy world. Uh, for what we see, uh, it's, it's normal, especially in 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 in, in politics where everything is being calculated. Mm -hmm. uh, for every move you make, for every decision you make, there's somebody that's trying to spot you uh, to uh, to outrun uh, you. So uh, what is happening is 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 politics, but it just it shows that um, it shows that, and also it shows because it's a reflection of the kind of leaders we have, all right? If you're going into a political arrangement with somebody and you don't understand each other because mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a team, because uh, it's all about, uh, I want to maximize this opportunity. It's not even about shared ideas, because if you have a shared ideas with your, with the presidency or the vice presidency, they should be working together as a team. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be seeing this We should see some level of co well, collaboration, collaboration. Collaboration between the board of them. But mm -hmm. we're not seeing that. What, what we're seeing is that uh, the president camp, right, the Abba carrier, the people that work for him, they're doing their own thing. The vice presidency, they're, they're doing their own thing, right? We've seen agencies that, have been, that, that was under the office of the vice president have been stripped mm -hmm. so far and moved somewhere else under the presidency. We saw a few weeks back, a few like a month ago, where uh, the vice president was organizing like a uh, economic uh, council yeah, meeting, meeting yeah, and, all, and all the next.
next thing that we saw there was an announcement that disbanded the same meeting that was he was having mm -hmm. all right and this I, I didn't think that it, he was away because if he was away he would have been the one to announce it because he was having a meeting with these same guys mm -hmm. and there was an announcement that showed that okay there's a fresh set of people that work with the president so for me uh, directly uh, under the president directly yeah. under the president so there's an ongoing rift uh, it doesn't all go well for the delivery of the country all right so far things haven't been moving well under this administration so to have both uh, to have both the vice president and the president moving at the opposing direction doesn't help anybody mm -hmm. and even the representation you know the country's uh, whole image for me I mean it says something about our whole, whole image like you rightly said if our leaders are not um um, at par, we should be worried. We should be worried. Ask me. Okay, so having dealt with that, what are your thoughts? Did you see the statement by Fashola? He says the roads are not as bad as portrayed. Fashola is the biggest disappointment we have in government. Why did you say so? Uh, I say so because this same man that before he went to Abuja said that he's going to fix power in six months, he denied that. There was a video on the internet. You see, thank God for uh, some people say George Bush internet or Bassanjo's internet, but there is a, there is a video on that on that space, and he's saying all these things. And some of the, some of the ridiculous things he said as governor of Lagos State. You see, uh, the, the truth is that when people stay in their confined space and do things, and people celebrate and make them feel that they're the best in after sliced bread, mm -hmm. and when you take them out of that space and put them in a space where there is challenge, where there is difficult things to do, they start giving excuses. The roads in Nigeria are bad. People die there daily. Mm -hmm. You see, the, the roads are because you fly everywhere. You you, you fly all the time. You're, you're a minister that has one of the key departments in Nigeria, so you have good cars at your disposal, you have the planes, that you have the helicopters at your disposal. So you've been governor for years. You didn't move around. He used to be governor in Lagos State. When he was governor in Lagos State, this place wasn't like heaven. Neither was it like Eden. There are terrible places. He managed to do some things in a cosmetic way because uh, for me, the development didn't, didn't tarry down to the people. All right? We saw a little, a little bit of gentrification across, across, the, across the state. So now you've gone to Abuja to do something that you, you, you're being paid to. And you're telling us that, that employed you, that, that paying your salary, that, that making sure that you and your family are living fine, that the roads are good. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is insincerity on, on his own part as a leader. And that is, that is a very sad thing and, and a senseless statement to make because the roads are bad. The power hasn't been fixed, right? And you made a bold statement that you called the people that were here about two years, something like that in the past, under the Gulag administration, that you're going to do this thing, you're going to do that. No, you've, you've had like more than five, five years so far oh. because you started in as a, as a minister under, under, under Buhari, you've been here for four years now. There's a, so the first year is almost gone because in February, there'll be one year in, 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 in so. What are you doing? You shouldn't be giving us excuses. We, you need to know the, the roads you build and everything. What is happening? What project? What projects have you been able to do so far as as minister of works, as minister of power? You're not doing that so far. He's a big failure, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh wow. Okay. Hmm. Well, uh, any other thoughts? Any other thoughts on? Well, uh, the, some, something else is, is what is happening, like in Masari, where we have the custom issue, mm -hmm. especially especially in the especially in the far north. We're in a country where uh, we have overzealous security people. All right. Sometimes they don't. Vazila's security oh, people. Yeah, security. Does that translate to action? It doesn't translate to action because, because unfortunately, it doesn't translate to action because what you translate is that they they use their office. Uh, to oppress the people, to do things they're not supposed to do. So is 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 zealousness uh, that is not mixed with intelligence, that is not mixed with uh, accuracy, that is not mixed with working and doing things right. So there is an issue. We have a porous border. We have uh, the Nigeria border is, is porous. We have more than eight something borders that are, that that is not being manned accurately across the country. So. Uh, the, 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 the agency themselves, they understand, which is a different argument altogether. But you have, you have manpower, you have equipment that can help you do this job very, very well. So if the borders are porous, it's the fault of the custom. Mm. Going to Kastina to harass the people of Kastina and harass people is not your job. What you do, if you believe there are some people that are working with uh, the small glass to bring in goods, to bring in things that are not supposed to, that were not supposed to be allowed into the country, what you do is to work with the intelligence agency, charge them to court. You shouldn't take any action that is extrajudiciary that is not in confine of what the law asks you to do. So, so that, that is it. So the overzealousness is not achieving anything because smugglers are still smuggling. Oh, the yeah. borders are still porous. The custom CG is collecting his salary every day, and they're basically doing nothing because at the end of the day, there's nothing to show. So what we see once in a while, we just see we just see like a display mm -hmm. of of maybe uh, smuggled goods and the rest of them. No, there, there is there is more, it's much more than that. And the, that's the one we get to see. That's the one. That's what we get to see once in a while. They just give us that the intelligence. The prosecution want to know how are you working with the whole security agency, uh, with the police, uh, with the, with the S, uh, NSSDC. We need to see that because it, this that synergy is important for us to have a, a, a country that is sane and peaceful. And one that one relationship doesn't exist between the security agency. It doesn't make sense. So whatever that doing doesn't help. So for the governor of Kastana to say, to say okay, stop harassing my people, it mm. shows you the level of, of, of pain and, 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 and intimidation that these people are facing in Kastana. So it doesn't make sense. Mm, let's get our acts right, I would say. Okay, so we'll quickly move to 
the punch right. in the interest of time. And then uh, it will be displayed now for you. A uh, federal government pays 157.3 billion tax arrears to states on page 27. We saw it also in the previous paper. We are still at work. No sack letters, Oshibanjo 8 says. And VP spokesman disowned this. That's on page 10. Uh, already displayed there. And the federal government urges China to expedite action on Mambila projects on page 26 of the, of the Punch newspaper. I beg your pardon. Minimum wage states negotiations must end by December. December the 31st says labor and that's on page 10 of the punch newspaper. DSS holds show red despite uh, receiving release warrants on page 18. And reps uncover illegal accounts in FCT revenue agency. Interesting. On page 26 of the punch newspaper. And the big story, fuel sales suspension. Nipeng Pengasan back federal government uh, border residents fume and that's on page 2. But our uh, filling stations, conduits for smuggling, says Union. Customs incompetence responsible for smuggling, according to the community leader. And there's a picture story of the 2019 National Youth Service Go Batch Stream 1 members during their inauguration uh, somewhere yesterday in River State. And then a headsman kills a sibling for having affairs with wife. I don't know how he made it. Well, it's on the front page of the newspaper. The stories, details of the stories on page four. 29 die in Bauchi yellow fever outbreak, and that's on page 18. And reps probe local content law abuse in oil sector on page 11. Federal government fixes promotion exam dates for prospective permanent sectors, and that's on page 24. And eight feared killed in a Edo Cold War. 12 suffer burns in uh, Oshun crash, and that's on page five of the Punch newspaper. And last day, Oshun may offer airports to private operator Woo's investors, and that's on page 26 of the Punch newspaper. Uh, <laughs> to be, there's so many coming to your face. There's so many coming, okay, and, 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 and uh, for me, uh, there's, something, there's something that you mentioned earlier before you Which mentioned is, the pen gas. Uh, okay, Showere. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's the Showere story. It, it is sad, all right? I was here the day before yesterday yeah, for plus politics, and I was. Sadly, I was telling uh, Felicity, um, the other guys, I've forgotten his name, that, well, uh, that, like, see, I'm a political analyst, so my job is not to be optimistic. My job is to tell you how things are, what it is, the, the facts are, because hope is not a strategy, hope is not... Hope is not a strategy. Hope, yeah. hope, hope yeah. is very elusive. Yeah. You, you don't build anything on hope, you build things on action, on what you see, on what, mm -hmm. is, what is measured. Concretely. So uh, I told them that I find, it, I find it difficult to believe that by... F Thursday evening, because yeah, it was yeah. Thursday evening, uh, sorry, on Wednesday, Wednesday evening, Wednesday evening, Shoei should have been out of court. There was a delay. They said that the timing and every other thing. And I thought that this was a, just this was just a state ad manufactured attempt to still keep this guy in, in prison. And yesterday, so same thing happened. So, so what I'm saying, I'm, I'm still saying it again, is that what we're seeing is a calculated attempt by the state to intimidate uh, uh, decent people that criticize the government, people that speak out against uh, uh, against oppression, against things that are not due. This is a democratic system of government. And it, Doesn't it, that even say something about how well, democratic or undemocratic, we are as a nation. It does. It says a lot, and it does. It, it doesn't. It doesn't portend good for us as a country, even for our development as as, as a as a country as it is at the moment. And the sad thing is, that a lot of people feel that it's showery. But the thing is that he yeah, didn't come out when the when it was the time of your neighbor. Somehow he's going to get to you. So because what we see that is a cycle of intimidation, a cycle of oppression is is brewing across the country. It's not just it's not just showery. We have governors uh, like governor of uh, of the Cross River that imprisoned journalists and rest of them for yeah. reporting and doing their job. So we're seeing, we're seeing a situation where governors, where the president, where the, where, where the state security agencies are being emboldened to do things that are not, uh, that, are not that, that, is, that, doesn't, that the constitution doesn't favor. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that when people go to court to quash this and to make, get this thing out of the way, there seems to be an, an extra attempt to keep these people in prison so that others don't speak out. It's not good for our democracy and where we're going to because uh, intimidation, uh, oppression and rest of them will keep this country back. We've been here before in the dark days of Abacha mm -hmm. and the rest of them. And we know how bad it was. Even though it seems like we're in a democracy, that, that cloud that we had, we had in the past is still coming back. And anybody that is sensible, that understand, that they understand the trajectory of time, will look at this and say, okay, this doesn't make sense. This is not good. This is not what is obtainable. This one shouldn't be at the moment. We have Hong Kong protesting for the last few months. Sure. We we'll see what is happening in other parts of the world, Chile, Lebanon, and across the world. People are saying, no, don't, don't infringe on our, on our democratic rights. Don't infringe on our liberty to say things, to do things. And if we're in Nigeria, and think that it's okay for us to keep quiet, then let's continue. Maybe something will cause or better it is what is happening to show where is 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 not acceptable and it, should, it shouldn't it shouldn't be happening. Quite unfortunate. Uh, let's see and hope that uh, so they move forward from where they are. All right, having dealt with that, is there anything else?
study one is the minimum wage is there, there's the Pengasin, which one? Well, Pengasin brings us back to the issue of what we talked about customs and, and the rest yeah. of them. Yeah, because the thing is that when New Peng and Penga say, say something like this, what you're trying to say that uh, is the community. The community that lives here in Nigeria, they have a they have a right according to the constitution of the country to, to do business, to conduct business, to, to, to do uh, commerce, mm -hmm. and to thrive, and to set up industry. Wherever they are, as far as they're within the confines of the Nigeria border, they, they can do that. So you don't just go and make life difficult for them saying that this is a smuggler base. If it is a smuggler base, if you believe it is a smuggler base, yeah, it, Issue. Tackle the issue. Report to the security agencies. What I said earlier. Get custom. Get the police. Get the NSDC and, and all the relevant agencies. Uh, have intelligence officers to work with these guys mm -hmm. and to figure out who who they are, who are doing this thing. And that is why com community policing is essential. Because if you have community policing, you have people that are willing to work with with, with, the, uh, with the security agencies to do some some of these things. But, but there's there's a trust issue, mm. and trust is one of the most essential things that is needed in terms of policing. Because if the people trust the police, if the people believe that if they report something to the police, police will take the right action. If someone knows that if I'm on the road, the police will not arrest me, will not harass me for not doing nothing. So why, what is the motivation for them to, to work with the police? Because there's no why motivation. And the police has not proven itself. Uh, NSDC customers, they've not proven themselves worthy for the citizens to trust them. So they shouldn't blame the citizens for failing to do their job. A lot of people that live within the borders of Nigeria, they have uh, uh, they have a fleet station. People travel across across West Africa. We have, we have the ECOWAS Street that allows people to move around freely. Mm -hmm. And they need to get fuels and they need to do all these things yeah. to move around. So if you're stopping them, you're stopping trade, you're stopping commerce and it is not good for the economy. Our economy, our country is shrinking every day because not a lot of inflow in terms of investment. Yeah, so the ones that are coming in from the border, you shouldn't, you shouldn't just block that because you feel that there's a smuggler issue. Don't blame the community. Go and do your job and get these smugglers. Mm -hmm. And I mean the community that makes both to say that the customs incompetence is responsible. And that is true because, because, because and, and, and <laughs> if the community leader is saying this, what it shows that the community leader is willing to okay, say, I want to work with you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying this because I know I'm the community leader. And he knows the people. I, I know my he people. I know what is happening here. So if you think that we have an issue, come, let's talk to you. That is hard. That is how that's how community policing work in the twenty first century. Mm -hmm. Let's find a way out of this whole uh, situation together. Anyways, um, yeah, we're looking at the time. We would move again to this day. No, it's fine. I hope you don't mind. No, I know you have so much to talk no, about, fine. but uh, we'll have to also be time conscious. Now we'll go to this day newspaper, and it says monetary policy uh, spurs lending to twenty five trillion naira in nine months. It's on the front page, but it's continued uh, as you have seen displayed there on page ten. Presidential task force light city worsens a papa gridlock. That's on page eight. And the presidency denies sack of Ushiba just eight. On the front page there, but continued on page 10. You can't disqualify candidates, court tells INEC. Upholds SDP's appointed candidature in Kogi State. It's there on the front page and then it's continued on page 10. Malami counts gains of recovered assets regulation and that's on page five. Uh, two stories. No, quickly, for me, I want to talk about the presidency tax for the last day, what will happen in uh, Papa. You see, the, the thing we have in the issue that we have in Nigeria, we have we have elected leaders that are not sincere, that are not true to, the, to their people. Yeah. Especially, I want, I want to address the vice president, Emil Osibanjo. I think two years ago, he flew on a helicopter. He came to Papa, you know, he did a, a photo op that is still on his Twitter page, and he made everybody believe that the issue will be sorted out. Mm -hmm. This is 2019. I think more than two years after he did that show, all right? Now he's. AK Chuku calls it a show. Is it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it a show? Because if you've been there two years, you're the vice president, you, you, you're part of the Economic Council, you, you, you have access, you can do things. And for two you years after. The you understand the situation. And two years after, after coming to see this thing, nothing has been done. So now what we're seeing is the president denies sack of Osiban just aid. The truth is this the people will not be invested in your matter. Because what is happening to you is not fair. Let's put it that way. I have to agree on that part, all right? Getting your aides to be sacked, and it seems there's a power rift between you and the, and, and the president because some, some, somehow the chief of staff is, is involved. So at the moment, the people are not invested in him because you know why? You've been there for the last four or five years. You've not done anything, all right? So you've had that something. We saw 35 his, aides sacked. I said, close to 80 aides. What are you doing with 80 aides? Some position, right? We have, we have people that are handling such position. You have special advisor on politics, special advisor on something else, on committee. I don't understand. So what you've done is to you look at people on the list. These are some of the people that their grandfather were in government. These are some people that were close to him in a way. So you, you selected people that, that are close to you and took them to Abuja to work with you, special advisors, special this one and special that one. And they all had positions. Now you are having issues and they're going after you because the truth is this. You have a bloated office. That is depleting the, the little that we have. You have a lot of people working with you as aid, and these people don't collect simple salary. They collect extra code when they travel with you. So you couldn't do what you're supposed to do in a papa with the office that you have for the last two years, and now you are having issue. My, my, my take is that nobody's invested in this. 
Hmm. Because you know what? You've not proven yourself what You've not proven yourself to be the leader that people will come. Okay, if something is happening to our leader, when Atiku had issue with Obasanjo as VP, a lot of people were sympathetic to Atiku during that time. A lot of people were sympathetic to Atiku. And we saw at the end of the day, Atiku was able to complete his tenure, even though they had issues that led to a lot of things. But people were sympathetic because at that time, Atiku led the reforms that people could say, okay, these reforms were practical. These reforms brought into things into the economy. And Atiku did it with Obasan Joe, the, the banking reform, the telecommunication reform, and the rest of them. Those are things that people could see, people could practicalize. So when Obasan just did what they had issue, they'd be, okay, let things follow the rule of law. Let things follow the process. Because people were invested in this man because mm -hmm. he could do something. So what have you done for the last four or five years? Nothing. So the only thing was saying that you're having issues with the same people that you've been in bed with for the past four years. And you're trying to tell us, okay, people are hungry. And they need to eat. So whatever happens to you, I think you should work with your boss to sort it out. And if you can't sort it out, it's, it's, it's a failure for both of you because the world is seeing that the both of you don't understand what you're doing. Mm. I mean, the bad side of it is how it's playing out to the fore, you know. Uh, it, 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 it was, bound to, it to, was bound to happen. Mm. Anybody that was, that was listening, that was, that was watching what has happened over the last, last few years knew it was bound to happen because uh, he doesn't have any political capital. It, it doesn't have any political character. The election has come. It's over. So there's, there's nothing he asked to the conversation now. They don't need him for anything. What they need him for? So that is, that is it. And the thing is that vice president. He's the vice president. He's the vice president. But he doesn't have any. They don't have any need for him. We've seen him because if they have need for him, the president would have transmitted the letter. He would have been the acting vice president. Now the president is not around well, the country. Well, we can't just uh, we can't say exactly. That's an assumption. It's, that's my point. It, 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 I'm saying it, I'm saying it, I'm saying it because. We've seen what is happening over the last few days. The presidency is, being, is denying that they sack his aid. Mm -hmm. The five people have gone. It's published on, on the dailies across the country. So that's, for me, there is a serious rift going on. Yeah. And why I say they don't have the need of him is that because if they truly need him, if they truly see him as a team player, because the post of the presidency and the vice president is, is a joint post. Two of them work together and as team players. So if they needed him and, they, and he's someone that is valuable and skillful to the team, they won't be treating him like trash. And what we're seeing is that this thing, this thing is happening because they don't respect themselves and they don't understand what they're doing. And it's a shame to us as a country. And the world is watching us and say, what is happening in Nigeria? This is not the leadership that we want from this part of the world. Mm -hmm. The world is watching. Uh, we will quickly take uh, just, I'm going to read out uh, the Nation newspaper in the interest of time because we know that uh, the PG News is coming up. And we'll go to the Nation now. S Pension Chief may now on wheelchair, no ruling on bill. That's on page 40. Well, uh, 10 feared killed in Ife but on multiple crashes and many injured. And that's on Page 42 of the Nation newspaper and government recovers 200 billion naira in final for future more cash in dollars and that's on page 43. And on um, Kogi by other elections, the on other sign peace accord, arrest vote buyers, IGP orders policemen, and Bello importing armed thugs to Kogi PDP alleges and that's on page 10. Education health, uh, top song will lose uh, one, one trillion naira 2020 budget and then pains, gains of land border closure by LCCI and customs that we've already talked about. Monday is public holiday. Okoro Chakalo Ayade retains seats. Any one story you want to talk about here? Well, I, I just hope that the expansion boss will be fit and will be okay. So they need to try him. He has, he has, uh, he has, he's going, he has an ongoing court uh, proceeding because of alleged corrupt uh, mm -hmm. practices. So I, I hope that we've seen in the past where government officials loot fund and suddenly when it's time for uh, prosecution they okay. develop one they take it to they, 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 they develop one form of sickness that we don't understand i just hope that the doctors will is be that able a strategy really yeah i, I think it's sort of it's, it's, it's somehow a sort of strategy so i just mm -hmm. i just hope that the legal people that understand how to maneuver this thing if he's fine if he's sick truly you sick, yeah, no fine give him treatment but please bring him back to court and try him and if he's found what for looting a pension fund mm -hmm. the money that people that are supposed to uh, enjoy as uh, benefit of working for that something years in their retirement. And if, if someone has, like that has done something like that at the end of the day, it's proven that he has done something like that, please, you should send him to the deepest part of Krikri because so, so that it will serve as a deterrence to mm -hmm. other people in the government not to steal, not to loot funds. So my issue is that, and also EFCC should not boggle the case because they've done it consistently. They should, they should do their due diligence. Uh, uh, the, 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 the prosecutors, the people that, are in terms of the legal team for EFCC, should make sure that everything is done right. And hopefully if he's sick, and I hope that they give him the best treatment so that he gets healed mm -hmm. and he's fine, and they bring him back to court and try him. And if he's found wanting for uh, looting by a competent court of judiciary, they should send him to the curriculum or any other place that would be good for him. Mm, basically, let justice be served. Let justice be served, yeah. Mm, okay, thank you. Uh, and I think that uh, we have complete sports. Uh, we'll crave your indulgence to so say please grab copies of this one. And this is where we're going to call it a wrap. I want to say thank you very much, Ike Ugochuku. I don't know why I keep calling you Ike Chuku, maybe because of the surname. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. It's always good to have you Thank you, you for here. having me. All right, and that's where we'll call it a wrap uh, for today's Of The Press. We will continue 
continue this next week uh, for weekdays, Monday to Friday, the same time, 8.30 here on Plus TV Africa. And I am Amaka Okui. Have yourselves a good day.